welcome back to my channel or welcome if you've never been here before so here's the thing i haven't cleaned my closet in a really 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 long time like it's probably been years and my closet's kind of in the closet in the house where half of it has kind of just been storage from my other family too and a few years back when i painted my room i cleaned my closet and that i think is the last time i've cleaned my closet <sighs> why you know every single time i film there's a plane every single time. I recently bought a little portable closet thing. Currently, it is completely full. I got a little thing to go on it for storage because my main problem with my room, especially now, is I have no storage to put anything because all of my drawers, my whole entire closet and cupboard and everything you can think of is full. So my whole entire, just, Okay, all of that, those are all bottles. That's like my shampoo, my conditioner, because I have so many things that it just doesn't fit that well. Also, I live with my parents, my little brother, and my grandpa. There's a lot of stuff in the house, and I like to keep all my stuff in my room so it doesn't get cluttered for other people, and it's like not rude, you know? And I have like a jewelry thing back there, but you can't even see it. I want to display my jewelry and put like decorations over there and stuff, and like make my room look cute. But the main thing of this video is I'm going to be cleaning out my closet. I don't know about you guys, but I went through a stage where I was like obsessed with watching people organize stuff. I used to watch closet organizing videos all the time. I love when the YouTubers I watch like organize their closet and stuff and I, I don't know what it is. I, it's like very calming. Like I will just put those videos on all the time. Yeah, also half of the clothes in my closet I do not wear. I have like bags of clothes in my other side of my closet that I never even open because if I open it everything falls out. I have so many clothes that don't fit me anymore, that I don't really like anymore, that I don't wear. Also, another thing that I'm really, really excited about that I'm gonna like kind of show you guys right now. I ordered a bunch of organization stuff that's gonna make it so much easier for me to store all of my things. I bought some decor that I'm gonna try and put in my room. It's gonna be like a whole entire room makeover, but the main thing is gonna be my closet. Yes. Well, okay, can the freaking... Planes, Planes, shut up. Shut okay, I'm sorry the lighting is crap. I left. Why is the camera moving like that? That is very strange. Because my camera was not moving. It was like the lens making it straight. Oh my gosh, does my camera do that? It's a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. It's a vertical fabric dresser. It's going to go in my closet. I'm going to put that in there. So hopefully that can like help my storage issue. <laughs> I'm gonna open I'm gonna open this now when I have room. I got this little LED neon sign. And you know, I thought it was gonna be way bigger. I have this problem where I just buy things and then I don't check measurements and I just think they're gonna be bigger. But, but it's a little butterfly and I might put that like above my bed or something. Then look at how cute these are. They're like just a bunch of pictures of flowers and then the name of the flowers. I thought these were full on posters. They did not show this many in the picture. And I didn't read the measurements. And because I've seen people with posters like this before and they're big. And now I'm sad because they're small. I don't know. I could figure it out. This one I just have to show because it's so freaking cute and I'm obsessed. Remember how I said I have a jewelry stand up on my dresser over there? I've been having a dilemma where I don't know where to put some of my rings and my earrings. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like I know a bunch of people have those jewelry plates. Where it's literally just a plate and they put their jewelry and stuff on it. I've seen some from like Tiffany's, but like the old vintage ones. And I... Look how cute this is. Yes, it's small, but I feel like this is so perfect for my room and it's just gonna sit up there. I can put my earrings on it and it like looks antique-ish. Antique, and it looks like an antique. Tell me that's not the cutest thing ever. And I, put, I am so excited for this. I'm also excited for it because I can make TikToks with it. I don't know if you guys have seen this. Pretty much, it is a sunset light. And it looks like a sunset like in your room. And it's a little light, a bunch of different types of sunsets, like all like right here. Obviously, we're gonna test this out later. The other thing that's in this box I'm not gonna take out, it's literally just a giant box of hangers. I always have a thing where I'm running out of hangers. So I got this thing. You hang this in your closet and has shelves. It has velcro things right here. Dude, this texture is so disgusting. It's like this. You wrap it around where you put your hanger and then it has a bunch of shelves and I got that for more storage in my closet. But you'll see the next clip I'll be cleaning something. Yum! Why do I have a whole entire drawer of just spoolies? Not used. Just a whole entire bag of them. Disposable spoolies. I 
have a problem. I have a whole entire drawer of just hair dye that I'm not even gonna use. You don't have to talk. You can sit still. Red since corner of my eye. What a wonderful cardigan slipping out my mouth, baby. I've been waiting for. All right, so this is the side Jesus Christ. of the closet that I use. There's another whole entire side that I cannot use because there's so much stuff in there. So I'm going to start from the bottom and work my way up. I'm going to go through all my clothes. I'm going to keep the ones that I like. And then at the very end, like when I clean that side, I'm going to split my clothes into stuff that I actually wear all the time and like winter stuff. I mean, I live in California, so I... It just means hoodies, you know, so my hoodies and like sweaters and maybe stuff I don't wear all the time like dresses and like stuff like that So I want to more organize and also you guys can't see the top right now. There is all my pants and It's so unorganized. I have pants that do not fit me up there anymore. I need to get rid of so much stuff I just need to figure it out, you know, so I'm gonna do that and then it's gonna be time-lapse Freaking sewing machine in here. So now what is happening is everything from this side is kind of falling over over here. Like I have this body pillow that I'm never gonna use anymore because it's so old and it probably is just really gross. And then I have this old rug that I need to throw away. So I'm just gonna kind of like make piles around my room of what I need to throw away. Uh, is it just what you need? I get so nervous when I I've gotten everything out from here. I still need to sweep it out. There's literally like jelly beans on the floor in here because of my Easter baskets from like years ago. And then when I have to, I'll open that side and like try and figure it out, but this is working so far. When my family and I moved in with my grandpa, this closet was kind of like filled with a bunch of stuff and it took a long time to get everything out. And there's like a box of books and stuff over there and I'm gonna need my mom to help me with that because they're not mine. So I think I'm just gonna straighten up. You can't see everything around me right now. It's literally piled up to me like over here and stuff. I think I'm just gonna go through this stuff, put everything in bags that like I need to go places or throw away, make piles. I, it's gonna be a long night, you know? I have not been able to see any floor of this side of my closet. I don't even know. I don't think ever since like I've lived here. This is the old thing that used to go on my window and then I got a new one because this one's really gross. You can see this closet isn't even fully painted because this box has been here for so long and when I painted this wall I decided to paint the inside of my closet. Now there's just gonna be like a big giant spot but later when I paint this wall I'm thinking green like light sage green. It's gonna be so much easier to take everything out of my closet because it's gonna be all organized so I'll get to it eventually. But now I'm gonna try and transfer all of these books into a better container so I can actually move them and then I'm gonna like sweep my closet it floor out and mop it and make it all nice and clean and maybe clean the walls because there's like cobwebs and stuff throw away all the old stuff that's up here because I can use this for storage and then I'm gonna work on all the clothes and organizing like the stuff I wear and I don't and then organize it and then I finally get to set up the fabric dresser completely cleared on the bottom section and I swept it all out and I mopped it. I look rough. I don't know how some people do these videos and they look perfectly fine throughout the video. The only thing getting me through this is watching PewDiePie while doing it, so. so this is the fabric dresser. I wanna feel you, girl. I wanna show you I have finally finished building this. I am proud of myself. Now I'm gonna put this in my closet. Okay, I know I just said I was gonna put the dresser in here, but I go on this side of my closet more. And I can't make up my mind if I wanna put a hanging organizer in here and the dresser on this side or this side. So I could put the dresser and stuff on this side. Also, it would look way prettier. And then I can move a bunch of my clothes to this side. I don't, I think that'll look better. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move a bunch of my clothes into that side. This is probably 
one of my favorite hoodies ever. Look at that. Do you see that? H&M. This is a sloth onesie. This is amazing. This is probably the best thing I own. definitely made a bunch of progress so this is literally the stuff that i still wear i made a pile of clothes that i'm going to be selling on depop the ones that aren't in the bestest shape or just i don't think they would sell on depop i'm just going to give them to goodwill i have way more clothing than this the things that i've recently been wearing are all in my laundry bin and some of them are hanging up on here because i have not been able to fit them in my closet for the longest time but i feel like this is good for now i'm gonna get this bin out of here i am going to put the dresser in there and then i'm gonna try and grind and like figure out where to put everything also totally probably didn't need to buy new hangers because since i'm getting rid of bunch of stuff i have a bunch but now i have a box of 50 new hangers that i don't know where i'm gonna put <laughs> This is the progress we have so far. Say hi. I'm gonna go through all of like the stuff I have in the places like later, but like have hair towels and towels and like little stuff like that. And then I already filled this all up. And then I think I'm gonna put blankets in this basket. And then I have like a laundry basket right there. Okay, on the floor of this side, I honestly think I am just gonna put like my stuff that I don't have anywhere to put stuff because I never open this side. This side is literally just filled with hoodies and like my prom dress and my homecoming dresses and like special occasion dresses that I don't wanna get rid of. And then all hoodies i have come to the realization that i have a really really bad hoodie addiction and because i wear all of these but i think i'm gonna put like storagey stuff down here and on this side this is a gigantic pile of clothing that's probably going to be going on my depop majority of it just doesn't fit me anymore all of it's actually in pretty good shape if anything it's just been washed a lot but i have so many jeans in here that almost look vintage because they've been washed so many times and i will definitely be putting those on there so if you want to see all that you go to my depop right there still have all of this i need to get through somehow yeah i don't even know what time it is it's 1 13 a.m i'm currently like stuck because i don't know where to put anything but we'll figure it out all right um it is 2 44 a.m I look rough. I have never wanted to take a shower more in my life than this very moment. So I'm just gonna update y'all on what we've done so far. I think what my whole entire room looks like. There's floor now, so that's good because that whole entire floor was covered. These three trash bags are clothes that I'm gonna put on Depop. And then this one over here is trash. These for Goodwill. These blankets are trash. We have all of this cardboard that was somehow in my room. I have to put like that little pile up there. Organized over here. I found places for all my stuff. Organized these drawers. We have not gotten to my desk yet. So I have all the stuff that's on there is probably going to go into my desk. I need to organize the inside of my desk because I have not done that in so long. Half of the stuff probably will be thrown away. I think that's it for tonight because I... I'm really tired. My skin is like really, really irritated right now. I have red little bumps all over my face. And I think it's just from all the dirt and the dust and stuff flying around in the air. And I've been touching my face because um, I like touch my face a lot. I'm going to go take a shower. I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. I woke up not that long ago. Haven't changed out of my pajamas. And my face is kind of breaking out and really irritated. And I woke up, I'm pretty sure, with pink eye. Let's hope it's not in my eye. I was just irritated from like the dust and there was probably bacteria in there. Because I know there was a mouse in my closet at some point. I probably should have worn gloves and masks, but I didn't. My eye is way clearer now, but this one was a little red and this one was really red, but I put eye drops in there. And I'm gonna order other eye drops for it, but you know, it's okay. Probably should have taken the right precautions before I did this but too late now. I've just kind of been straightening up. I like talk to my family and stuff because we're literally having family over tomorrow and I need to get this all cleaned by today. Like I have a deadline. The situation right now is I just need to put everything in its place. I think my grandpa's gonna go to the dump though because all of our trash cans are full and there's so much cardboard everywhere. I just put some clothes in the washer and I have to do another load I think. Probably gonna clean my bed set because I've just sat a bunch of stuff on it and I don't really wanna sleep with a bed set that I've sat a bunch of stuff 
fun, you know. Then our next task I'm gonna do when my room is almost all the way clean is organize my desk. The whole entire top is not even the worry. It is this drawer, which is just a junk drawer at this point. And then I have a cupboard and a drawer, which is the same exact thing. It's like overflowing. So that will be our next task, but I wanna do that when my room is clean because if I do it now, my room is already dirty. It's just gonna be extremely overwhelming. Yeah. So we're making a lot of progress. I'm getting really excited. So now we're gonna move on to cleaning my desk. It's actually the next day after I last filmed and I finished everything up and I'm gonna show you the final product. So cue all before and after shots. This literally took forever. Sorry, my hands are really shaking right now because I haven't eaten yet today. Again, this is the closet, right? So first we're gonna start at the top. I already had my pants up here, but I got rid of so many pants. I wouldn't consider it messy. I think it's fine because they're organized. Like this is my denim. These are my denim plus other types of pants like my corduroys, sweatpants, sweatpants, and then leggings, and then more sweatpants. I didn't know how many sweatpants I had until I did this. Um, a little too many, but it's okay. They're literally all from quarantine. But then it comes to all my clothes hanging up, and I did an order from like jackets to sweatshirt to shirts to tank top and like little crop tops and stuff, and I think it looks pretty good. These are all the clothes that I still wear. I'm gonna show you the other side after. That has all of my hoodies in it. Then we're gonna make it over to this hanging organizer thing. And I love these. I actually have another one over there on my portable closet. So I already knew I was gonna love it. But first on the top, I have all my microfiber hair towels. Then I have my towels. I have all my silk and satin scrunchies in here. And I have my heatless curler sets. And I just put this here because I really had nowhere to put it in. These are bands for when I like squat and stuff. And I've been trying to work out more. And then I have my hats. And then I just put my little bags right here because it was really cluttered over over here and now it's like pretty and I can just grab them so easily I mean I just have a basket of blankets right there so like if my boyfriend spends the night and he needs extra blankets or for the winter time but it's currently like always 80 degrees in my room so I don't need those right now now we're gonna make it over to the fabric dresser you can't really see it, but I just put this here because it looks kind of cute. I just have soap and an exfoliator that I haven't used yet that I like is restocked. I have my little coach bag and then I have my little Polaroid camera because I think it's like kind of cute to like set out and I really like that thing. Top in and it kind of looks unorganized, but this stuff is all like my heatless tools. I have some more scrunchies right here. This is something for a video later if I do another heatless curling video. But yeah, so these are all my hair tools. And then this drawer looks really messy. It's organized. It's just I had to pile stuff on there in the last minute. It has all my makeup palettes in it. it. has makeup that I've been sent that I haven't used yet. And like restock makeup that like I've bought in for when my stuff runs out. And like a bunch of like beauty stuff. Like I have a razor in there for when my razor goes bad. And then this one is like all bags. But these are all my rollers. And then these are like the clips for them. And then there's another roller. I'm not going to open this one. So in the last drawer... Ayo, I hate that sound more than anything. This is all my hair dye, my hair bleach, my developer, and stuff that hopefully I will not ever touch for a long time. 
this bin I got to put my clothes in and it's kind of just turned into a bin where I put all of my beach towels and my blankets that I don't use and like extra towels and then I have this little section where it's just like my little detergent pods and then like cleaning stuff you know I like it though because if I open my closet it doesn't look ugly and it's like pretty and whenever I have people over or something I can keep my closet open because it actually looks pretty I'm not gonna go too into detail about this side just because it's kind of boring and ugly and I never open this side these are all of my hoodies then when we go to the bottom it looks very unorganized but it's really not it's just I don't have enough room in my room for all of my stuff but like under there I have my printer and like a fish tank if I ever want to get a fish again and then all of this is just like suitcases shoes you can see all of it it's not really that interesting and then on the top I just have all my random storage stuff so we're gonna bring it to over here but as you can see I put a little butterfly on there and the more I'm looking at it it looks crooked these are like some really pretty dresses that I have that I kind of like to keep on display and I've worn them for Instagram pictures Pictures, and some of them are for upcoming YouTube videos. I put all of my shoes down there and I have all my sections like I have silk scarves in here and then silk nightcaps for when I go to bed and then pillowcases for when I want to switch the pillowcases on my bed out and then I have like sunglasses, nail stuff, face masks, snacks, and then girly products. Yeah, and then I just put my purses there. The light is making a really bad cast on it, but I love this area. I think the LED sign like really added what it needed over here because for the longest time, I could never figure out what to put right there and it looked so empty. I was gonna put shelves with little succulents on it, but I feel like that adds like the perfect amount and it looks so cute like with the portable closet thing. It just like goes together. This is my desk and I've organized it in and out and I am so proud of it. I'm actually getting use out of my desk now. So on here, I bought this a while ago. It's just like a little organizer. My laptop, of course, there's totally nail polish all over my desk for my nail videos and ignore it. I put all my clips on my lamp because I feel like they're so much easier to get. So now I'm gonna show you the inside because I don't remember if I got a clip of it before. This was completely full with trash. So now I have like just my headphones right there with a pencil and just like little things that I thought would go here. So not that interesting but definitely organized right here I just have like a notebook this was so messy I did not use this for anything everything in here was pretty much trash so back there I have some nail stuff right here I have hair stuff that couldn't fit anywhere and then this is all my electronic stuff and then this is like medicine right here I have like paperwork and stuff in the back like important stuff okay so this is the mirror like I get ready in and stuff I usually sit right here and do my makeup I organize my little makeup place right here I put like stuff I grab quickly like right here my brushes I didn't organize everything in here but I organized this like a long time ago um ignore this this is a whole entire box of makeup for an upcoming YouTube video this area of my room makes me so freaking happy like look how clean it is the difference from what it was before I love this little area I have like a bunch of my silk scrunchies and my rings and my earrings and everything's organized and then look at the it is so cute and I love it so much. Oh my gosh, I love it. And then I have my puppy that passed away a few years ago. Love her, miss her so much. And then this is the sunset lamp. I absolutely love this. I'm totally gonna show it when I show my bed in the after and before clips and put this on there. It is so beautiful. I can't wait to make TikToks with it and stuff. So I also organized all of my drawers except for that one because that's my junk drawer. So this one has my underwear, this one has my bras, my bathing suits and stuff. I organized this drawer. It looks messy, but I have everything like grabbable that I use like every day or every other day like I have my toothpaste and stuff my comb and that's the stuff I use every day or every other day and then this stuff is also kind of like that but I don't use this stuff as much it's still organized and stuff and then this has my shorts in it I put dryer sheets in my drawers so then my clothes smell like extra good I messed this drawer up a little bit earlier but this is like my pajama shirts or just my big t-shirts to wear out and then my pajama bottoms as well oh and I just want to show you this is my skin care fridge you probably saw me cleaning it earlier this is probably one of my favorite things in my room my boyfriend got it for me i'm pretty sure it was our one year but i love this thing so much i put my skincare in here i put some of my hair oils i have my gua sha and my jade rollers and my chlorophyll and these are mineral drops you know what else i put in here i put my freaking peanut butter cups in here because i don't want any of my family stealing them and then I put the day's date on there. I try my best to keep up with it. And then I have little pictures of me and Tyler from his cousin's wedding. And as you see, this is the light. This is probably one of my favorites because it really does look like a sunset type of thing. 
but look it has it has like a bunch of different settings but yeah this is my bed um if anyone's wondering this is a duvet cover from urban outfitters and then i have the two matching pillowcases and then my silk and satin pillowcases that i sleep with and of course i got ploop right here but i absolutely love my bed so much i don't know why but it's just so pretty here i put more vines up and ignore that i've always had that in my room it's like from water damage and we've just never fixed it okay so this is probably one of my new favorite parts and it's going to be in the back of all my videos and i'm so excited it is so pretty i already had these records up there they're 45 and my grandma actually gave them to me i get questions on where i bought them all the time i did not buy them but i'm sure you can go to like a vintage record store you could probably find records like on amazon that aren't even real and they're just for decoration but and then i put some vines and i love how those are these were the things i was talking about earlier they have like the name of the plant or the flower and i just put them down the wall like that and i felt like that was a perfect place for it i wish i had one more to go right there but it's okay and then my door right when you come in i have all my purses right here look how pretty that is instant like no ow my eyes i'm getting very much bo burnham vibes right now from this thing literally makes it look like it's golden hour that is pretty much it for this video thank you guys so much for watching if you got through this video because a lot of people probably thought this video was really boring and i know this is a little different than my usual content but i kind of just film whatever i do in my life and filming weirdly helps me stay motivated yeah this like weirdly made me very motivated to clean my closet and actually get everything done i haven't asked a million times to do a room tour so just like count this as a room tour because i showed you guys my whole entire room and this is like my updated room thank you so much for coming along with me to um clean my closet and my room i appreciate it so i hope you have an amazing day and you're beautiful and i love you so much and i'll see you in the next one bye i don't know if you like the way i put my words together but i need you to stick with me just like some birds of feathers but my breath the scales hand to hand dropping corn straight down the well wish me well wish me well Always talking about the fishing scales, things that's gon' throw my mind off focus. Probably what's gon' get my drug use more dosage. Like I. Yeah.